Tommy Robinson has been jailed for 18 months. The 41-year-old activist appeared at South London's Woolwich Crown Court on Monday after failing to appear at a previous contempt hearing for repeating false allegations against a Syrian refugee. Robinson, real name Stephen Yaxley Lennon, handed himself in to police in Folkestone, Kent, on Friday. Speaking during sentencing, the judge warned supporters in the courtroom to remain silent as he read out his closing remarks, labelling Robinson's actions a blatant breach of libel restrictions he told Robinson that nobody is above the law. A non-custodial sentence cannot be justified, confirmed the judge, before handing down the 18-month sentence. Robinson's comments came despite a 2021 High Court order being in place, banning the activist from repeating the allegations against the refugee who sued him. Police confirmed he'd been arrested on one count of failing to provide the PIN to his mobile phone under Schedule 7 of the Terrorism Act 2000. However, the appearance on Monday came in relation to a separate warrant issued by a High Court judge earlier this year. Appearing in the dock, Robinson wore a grey suit and waistcoat with no tie after being remanded in custody on Friday. The judge informed Robinson that he would receive a 10% reduction for his guilty plea before handing him the maximum two-year sentence. It means Robinson will now be sentenced to 18 months in prison. Asked by the judge whether he accepted he had committed the breaches, Robinson nodded and replied yes. The Solicitor General issued two contempt claims against Robinson, claiming he knowingly breached the order on multiple occasions. Robinson is said to have repeated allegations against the refugee after airing a film at a protest in Trafalgar Square. The activist, who has a million followers on Twitter, had previously been successfully sued for libel by the refugee. Those who commit contempt in a court of law can face up to two years in jail, a fine, or in some instances, both. Friday's arrest came ahead of a planned far-right march attended by thousands of supporters, which took place in central London on Saturday. Crowds marched on Whitehall, with Robinson's supporters gathering with banners demanding his release. The political activist, who was remanded in custody at the time, missed the march taking place in his name. Demonstrators carried placards reading, Two Tear Care fueled the riots and chanted, We want Tommy out as they headed from Victoria Station to Parliament Square.